Bumping basically means your solvent goes from just hanging out to a full vigorous boil immediately. And as a result of that, it basically blows out the top of the flask. Now, that might sound kind of cool, but in practice it's really not. It's a huge pain. And one of the most common places we'll run into bumping is actually on that beast right there, the rotovap. There are two very easy ways to reduce the chance of bumping on the rotovap. The first is to make sure that you never fill the flask more than about halfway full. Anything more than this really starts to increase the chance that the whole thing's going to jump to the other side. The other is to use a bump guard. Now a bump guard, as you can see, will physically block the solvent from going all the way up and to the other side of the rotovap by that piece of glass in the middle. So the solvent will go up, hit there, and then collect in this flask. Bump guards are great because now instead of your sample going all the way through the entire rotovap, it gets stuck here. So if your sample does bump over, all you have to do is pop this off, rinse it with a little solvent, dump it back into your flask and start over again instead of disassembling the whole contraption. Next time you go to throw something on the rotovap, double check that there's a bump guard in place. I think it's going to save you a lot of time and hassle down the line. But if you put a sample on without the bump guard and it bumps, Please be a good lab mate and clean up after yourself. Nobody wants to smell your noxious amines and thiols that you've now just coated the entire inside of the rotovap with.